Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Divine Masculine reading for Sunday. So let's see what animal the masculines are connecting with today and why. So I'm going to use the Divine Animals Oracle deck and I am feeling again this throat chakra activation, croakiness, you know, this feeling like something needs to be said and that's because communication is coming in. So the masculines really do want to tell you how they're feeling. You know, you can prepare for this now because you're preparing not only for your future, and your union but for those words to be set so the masculine is connecting with the chameleon and this is really powerful because you know he may have blended into the background before and just got on with things in his life but no more he's stepping out from the crowd he's being noticed now he's being heard he's speaking his truth so he's coming out into the open and he's showing you this he doesn't want to remain stuck where he is he doesn't want to blend in with others. He doesn't want to remain in the crowd. He wants to be that leader that he's born to be. And we've got the shark. And whenever I see the shark, I always see this as the energy of silent but deadly. You know, he may be silent right now, but he's deadly serious about this love. And he's moving towards you and it's going to be very quick. So you may not see it coming. So again, Divine Feminine, it's going to happen when you least expect it. You're going to get that message when you're busy doing you, loving life. And you've really not been thinking about your twin. So maybe that busy doing you, loving life, you just kind of forget for a moment. And then you receive that text message or that notification pops up on your phone. And you're like, oh yeah, my masculine, oh yes. Because he's approaching you already, you just can't see it. It's all happening behind the scenes. And we've got the Jaguar. I mean, look at the power there, the movement, the sun behind the jaguar bringing him forth. So he's showing you, I'm coming towards you. I'm doing it in a way of stealth. You may not see me, but I'm there. So he's already on his way. He just may be blending into the background. So the thing I love about all these animals here is movement. The jaguar moving towards what it needs to reach, and that could be its prey. And obviously, you know, you are the end result for the masculine. You're where they need to be. So your masculine is moving towards you. And they are also praying to heaven, doing it consciously and subconsciously, asking for help and guidance, moving towards you in a way that you may not be aware of. Slow and steady wins the race. Silence moves everything forward. And they may be that blended into the background. You don't see it ahead. So this is a big message about coming forward. So I'm going to go to the book today and we're going to look a little bit deeper. So first of all, I've got the Jaguar. Now, the Jaguar may also be connected with speed because the Jaguar is also a very fast car. And that may resonate with someone. Maybe someone's got a Jaguar out there or you want one. You know, my dad used to have a Jaguar back in the day. You know, when I was a kid growing up, we used to go out in his XJS and he used to speed around in that. So this is also about speed and agility. And that's what I'm connecting with, with the Jaguar. So he's moving towards you, even if you're not aware, because, you know, like the chameleon, he's kind of blended into the background. So the Jaguar is about release. And it says, moving forward, release what you no longer need. Take action to move something from the idea, ideal world and the real world into the physical world. So again, this is about him having an idea and having that manifestation to bring it into the real world. It says, let go of the old and stale and choose renewal. Wash away the negative aspects of the past. Surrender it all and embrace the new. So the masculine is saying to you, I'm moving forward now. I'm already releasing the past. I'm already moving towards you. I'm already doing what I need to do. And you can see that, you know, you've got this powerful energy where if you look closer, I'm seeing this as a man emerging, emerging from the shadows, being reborn. There's this rebirth energy. So he feels a lot like the Jaguar spirit here is protecting your divine masculine as he makes these changes and he releases what needs to go. Very powerful. So the energy of the shark, let's look at the shark and then let's look at the numbers as well. We've got number nine for the Jaguar, which is all about spiritual path and 36 for the shark. Is about having faith in what will be in the real world, in your 3D world. So the number 36, let's find the energy. It says, 
purpose. So the masculines, remember, are kind of working out their purpose right now. And they're giving me again this feeling. It's like hair in my face from my wig. But it's like a feeling of an itchy nose. So they're realising that they've lied to themselves about their life and their purpose. They've realised they've been lying to themselves because they're not happy where they are. And they know they need to make changes and changes from within. It says you were perfectly forced. And they're giving me the word focused. But it says formed. Okay, you were perfectly focused and you were forced. So they've been forced in the past into things through their fears, maybe through another person. You know, it could be a karmic partner forcing them into something. Maybe the family forcing them into something. This is what I'm feeling like arranged marriages or, you know, to do a certain thing they haven't really wanted to do. So they feel like they've been forced into things that have held them back from you. And they're realizing now that they are perfectly formed to be with you. And they're perfectly formed to be who you were born to be. So they're realising they are ready. And there is nothing wrong with them. They've just been spending time and energy in the wrong places with the wrong people for far too long. There is great power in keeping you focus. Procrastination is just another kind of fear. Keep moving forward, which is what the Jaguar is saying. You are protected in a difficult task. So it is difficult for them to release themselves from things they've been forced into. Things they've been stuck in. You know, like a vow. It could be a marriage. It could be a job. It could be an addictive behaviour or codependent energy. So it is hard for them to release this, but they are releasing it. And they're letting you know that now. And you know, with the chameleon, it's all happening behind the scenes. So you may not even see the change, yet the change is going on around you. And the 33, which is powerful because that's such a great number for the masculine anyway. You know, before my divine masculine changed his name to Blue Eyes Tarot, he was Blue Eyes 33 because he always connected with that number. And they give me fear. And, you know, the 33 energy is about releasing fear, having faith and knowing that you do not walk alone. You walk with ascended masters and ancestors and your guides. So the number 33 is also power. It says change. So the chameleon is all about change. So we've got going forward, release. We've got dealing with any stuck energy and, you know, focusing on purpose now and this energy of change. It says change is a natural part of life. So resistance is futile. Ride the energies of change and know when you are going and where you are going. So they're also saying when. So the masculine also has a timeline in his mind. When I'm going to go. So that could be when he's going to leave his situation. When he's going to contact you. He has a plan now, a timeline. So he knows when he's going to go, where he's going to go. And the fear will lessen. So because he's got this plan in his head, he's moving out of the energy of fear. He's releasing that fear because it doesn't serve him. And the Jaguar is giving him the power to see past that fear. It's not always wise to just blend in with everyone else. So he's realising, they're giving me, again, tooth pain. Gnashing teeth together, making decisions to communicate and speak out. So he doesn't want to blend in anymore. He doesn't want to be where he is anymore. He wants to be a leader. He wants to stand out. And I love how we've got that gorgeous yellow energy and I've been guided to wear yellow today too. The energy of the solar plexus, following your gut, trusting your intuition and your instincts and listening to your heart and soul. So it's not always wise to blend in. Flexibility in mind and body is, is an advantage. Do not take too long to make your decision. So the masculine knows he needs to make his decision. He's already made it in his mind. He just needs to follow through. The when and the where. So he knows what he needs to do. And the reason why he's thinking, I need to hurry up, is because he doesn't want you moving on. You know, he doesn't want you getting on with your life. He wants to be in your life with you. So the Jaguar is giving him all the strength you need. So if you see a chameleon today, a lizard, you know, or some kind of, kind of, you know, like beardy dragon, that's a big sign of change. The masculine stepping out of their comfort zone to make that change. They're not going to blend in any longer or remain stuck any longer. And the shark is about the spontaneity and the approach. So the shark is approaching 
where it needs to be. And the jaguar is moving forward, overcoming obstacles and challenges. And the masculine is rising up. So this is a really powerful message as we prepare for a new week. Because another sign of change, another sign of movement, and another sign of communication. So great things ahead. So trust the journey because the masculine is showing you he's on his way. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.